Good day everyone, Garage King here, and I'm looking for another charger. Came across this Nursey, let me tell you all about it. All right, so let's open up the box. So I did have some demands here. I wanted to make sure it was compatible J1772, uh, which is compatible with pretty much all electrical vehicles except for Tesla, but you can get an adapter. The other thing is I wanted to make sure it was UL rated and IP65 so it could go outdoors. That was important for me. So right out of the box, it was packed very well. You get anchors, screws, everything you need, and you get this handy dandy startup card uh, that you need. Please don't lose it. First thing I noticed is the cord, how thick it is. So we'll take a quick measurement here and you can see it is over 20 millimeters thick. Now let's go outside and take a look at the Tesla one. So here we'll put up the old caliper and measure and we can see quite a bit thinner. Now, does that translate to thinner copper wires inside? Well, I'm not exactly sure, but what I can tell you is it's definitely thicker on the outside. So here's how it looks from the box. It's got a tamper-proof Torx right on the bottom for installation, and it comes with a handy-dandy tool where you can take it off. And I'll show you right here is the mount that's going to go on the wall. So that's how it actually hangs on the wall. I guess you can mount it any way you want, but it is best hung on the wall. So it does come with a nice template, but I found I'm the type of guy that actually likes to use the steel template it comes with, not the paper, because I have a habit of just, you know, moving around and then my holes are off centered. So this way it works good. And if you notice, I only used um, anchors on one side. The reason I did that is because I lined it up with a stud on the other side. So I don't need the anchors on the other side. And now it's probably a good time to mention you get it in black, orange, or white. So you can get it in three colors. But back to the install, don't forget, once you hang it on the wall, use the security bit to secure it. And what that does is it prevents it from falling off the wall if someone were to accidentally bump it from underneath. So now what we're going to do is we're going to mount the cord onto the wall. There are three screws required, they are included. And speaking of cords, did I say this charger comes with a 26 foot cord, which is really nice because even though this charger is getting mounted in the garage, I can actually charge a car that's in the driveway. So very, very nice to have a 26 foot cord. Now the hanger is really neat in the, the fact that you can actually plug it right into the hanger. The only thing I found is it does stick out a little bit so if you're in a really tight garage, you definitely don't want to, you know, walk beside it because you may wind up knocking it off the wall. You don't want to do that. So it's easy just to sort of wrap it around and hang it right around. And that's what I do in my garage. Now, in terms of power, what do you need? Well, it says you need six gauge wire if you're using 48 amps and you need eight gauge wire if you're using 32 amps. So depending on the model you choose, that translates to 25 to 37 miles per hour or 40 to 50. 58 kilometers per hour. And I'll show you later, I was actually able to clock in at 70 kilometers per hour. So main power is on and let's just hang on for a second. There is our startup screen looking good so far. And there's our welcome screen. So we should be good to go. So you know what, let's try and see how this works in real life. And now we just tap the card. If you don't have the app, there you go, starting to charge. Let's take a peek in the vehicle. You can see we're at 54 kilometers per hour. Let's crank it up and just see the max here at 48 amps. And you can see, there we go, 70 kilometers an hour. So quite respectable. And if we take a look back at the charger screen, we can see there's our voltage, current, everything is right there. So. Uh, it's even got a time and total kilowatt hours. Now it does come with a quick start guide, but you know what, there's nothing like a demonstration. The app is very easy to use, so let me show you on my phone very quickly. Okay, so enough with the elevator music. You can see at the bottom there are our voltage, current, and our power. So it shows you everything. You can set up time when you would like to charge. There you go. There you can see I'm setting the time on the app. And if you take another look here at the current, you can see there it is changing and I'm changing it from the car and it updates instantaneously on the app. Now, another interesting thing is you can adjust it from the app. So here you can see I enter a different current amount. There I entered 30 and you can see it is going to drop down to 30. There you go. You can see it's back uh, down to 30. And now say we want to raise it back up to 48. So we're going to go in here and put a little magnifying glass, not 30, 48 or not 48. Sorry, let's do 18, something different. So we're going to confirm it should go down to 18. So, and there you go. You can see it just dropped 17.7 amps 
And now I'm going to change it again, maybe 48. Let's see. And it should rise all the way back up to 48. So it is a very versatile app. And also you can sign up and get a monthly energy report for your usage. So that is a pretty neat feature. If I mean, if you so choose and you want, you know, you want to keep track of how much energy you use in every month. Now here's the Tesla app. I'm actually using the Tesla app and it is very compatible. We can adjust it. And there you go. You can see the Tesla app was at 10 amps and we are currently charging at 10 amps. Now I can use my Tesla app and raise it up to 20 amps and it will charge at 20 amps. Also, the stop charging feature works. There you go, you can see I clicked it and it does work. And here you can see at the end, it will tell you when your charging is complete and you get a little summary. You can see there we used about four kilowatt hours. This charger is very pleasing to the eye. The display, absolutely love it. And then the charging indicator. Really am happy with this. It was very, very easy to install. Hooking it up in the garage really wasn't an issue. I loved everything about this charger, right from hooking it up to plugging it in to using the app. I found it to be very easy. And you know what? I give it two thumbs up. If you're considering a charger, I think this definitely is one that you should consider. That's it for this week. Garage King over and out.